Hi Koel, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Uh, Koel, can you uh, please quickly introduce yourself? Good morning, everyone. I'm Koel. I'm basically from Odisha. Currently, I'm staying in Bangalore. And uh, I have three plus years of experience in data analytics field. And it's like previously, I'm working as a MIS analyst in uh, media kind. After that, I joined Swiki. Three, uh, three uh, nearly about two point five years back, I joined Swiki. In Swiki, also I'm uh, working as a data analyst. My role and responsibility is like I am um, like every time I have to handle a meeting with the client and the stakeholder of the company to collect the data from them and uh, to understand what is the business uh, requirement they want. After that, I'm uh, collecting the raw file, uh, raw file from them. And after collecting the raw file, I have to like analyze and combine all the data in Excel. After that, I used to uh, filter the data and like, like do some mapping and all filter the data and make the data in the proper format so that we can uh, export like import the data into the SQL file. Uh, so after that, I used to import the data into XQL and then write query to extract the data from that. And I use Power BI for the visualization so that uh, we can do some, after analyzing, we can do some visual, uh, visualized presentation so that who don't, who don't know anything about SQL, Excel, SQL coding, they can understand what is the growth is going on. And this is my role and responsibility in Suiki. And uh, I used to update the daily, monthly, weekly, uh, tracker also if i'll come to my uh, like educational background then i have completed btech in centurion university i'm 2019 pass out and if i'll come into my family and all then uh, uh, in my family father is there mother is there and uh, my brother is there. Uh, okay okay fine so uh, basically the task which you know uh, the roles and responsibilities which you told uh, I mean, is it allocated on daily basis or how do you do? I mean, weekly basis or how the ticket or task is assigned to you? If in coming to the uh, monthly basis things, then it's fixed that every day, if, sorry, every month we have to uh, do this uh, analysis. Like if uh, I'm giving you some example, like uh, in Bubne, so I'm working in Pan India data. If I have to handle, uh, like I have to give the report, like in all Pan India, how many restaurants are given like five lakhs of revenue and who have given less revenue, but previous time they have, uh, uh, a previous month they have good uh, revenue but this time they have did some uh, because some problem this they have given some bad uh, revenue uh, to Suki. so like this is just a monthly process so this process i used to do monthly if you're coming to the daily process if some audience requirement is there so not like the stakeholder and the managers want like uh, for this uh, rid uh, if you're coming to coming to the rid then it's the rid we refer to the restaurant ID. So if some stakeholder want is the daily basis that we are seeing some uh, like problem in this RID. So you have to analyze the data and give uh, give us a uh, record, then I have to do it daily basis. Okay, okay. But mostly things are fleet planned that I have to do it. Okay. So so when you say dashboard, so what type of you know insights or what kind of different charts you use and what is the insight you know you draw from your data? Mostly in my working time, I have to use the uh, uh, pie chart. I have to come to the thing, then I have to pie chart. All the rectangular chart I have to use to show the growth of the, uh, to show the growth, month wise growth or the RID wise growth also. Uh, these two types of charts I have to use it because rectangular is easy to see like how the growth is okay, going. So, so, have you been involved in data cleaning? Yes, uh, in my uh, like in my knowledge, data cleaning is like when I used to get the data from the uh, different teams or the stakeholder, I used to clean the data. But every time as a partner used to enter the thing, it's not it's not like they are, they used to uh, send us the proper format. So you we have to format the data and then put it in the SQL. So, okay. so for data that. I, Basically, so major part of data cleaning is done in SQL, Excel, or Power BI. Which tool you use to you know uh, perform the data cleaning? Mostly, I use Excel to uh, clean the data. So, can you please tell me what are the functions you frequently use to clean the data? Uh, in Excel, I used to uh, take 
uh, like valid up to validate some column i used to do the validation uh, like validation to and formatting also i used to do in if there are any duplicate things are there then i used to uh, use the uh, conditional formatting to highlight the duplicate so then we can after that we can delete it uh, like that uh, so we have uh, we have surya with us so can you uh, uh, surya can you please you know uh, you know ask few questions yes yes so quill yes as you have mentioned that you you are frequently performing data cleaning in excel right uh, you just mentioned few of the techniques that you use for data cleaning apart from that you mentioned that you were consolidating multiple sheets correct yes so how do you consolidate multiple sheets okay so it's not like in every sheet we get all the col all the columns which is required for our sql file for sql uh, like data set format so we get it from the dip, uh, like different column name uh, so different column data from different different team so we have to get all the sheet in excel after that we do the v lookup to get all the uh, data in the in one file we look up we look up on Yes, yes. So, uh, Quill, quickly, could you please uh, go ahead and tell me the formula of VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP is like you have to write the VLOOKUP uh, equal to VLOOKUP and then first you have to uh, give the value, it's a cell value you have to get for uh, for that cell or for that, uh, it's a lookup value. So, after that you will uh, give the it's like a table it's like from which table you want the we want to do the vlookup after that uh, in which column you need the data it's like if the table content rid and name and the second table content only the rid you name the rid there then you have to give the vlookup then the rit and then select the main table after that give the column got name it, two it, it, and then thank you uh, so apart from that what i want to know is suppose you have two sheets, two different sheets, and there is no common column or common data between them. How do you consolidate those sheets? Uh, sorry, I didn't understand. It's like you don't have yeah. any sorry, column, I but... Yes, you don't have any common columns between those two sheets. Then how do you consolidate both of them to make a master sheet? Am I clear with the question, Quill? I asked clear, but uh, sorry, I didn't get it. Like, how you okay, want to suppose do it? There is, there, there is two seats. Okay, one is seat one and another one is seat two. Okay, so you want to, you have one requirement for that. You need to consolidate both of the seats and form a master seat. As you mentioned that you need to import that data to SQL. So for that, you need to consolidate those seats, but you don't have any common data between them. What, how you will combine in that case? What will be your first approach for that? Just think it is, a, I mean, not that much uh, something you can't answer. Okay. Sorry, I don't have an idea. Okay. Copy paste, we can do maybe. Copy paste, okay. Anything else? No, it's cool. So, Kowal, tell me, what do you mean by data? Uh, in my knowledge, data is like it's a set of. Uh, it's a set of things. It's like it's a grow. It's like it's a company data is. Maybe. Okay, got it. Uh, so, what is the difference between data and insights? But, okay, data and data information. Is, okay, data, data is to... Yeah, go ahead. Okay, data is like some common, uh, uh, some company related information, and insights is like we have to clean the data, make it in the proper format, and what the thing we need, we have to extract it from that. That is called insight. But data is not data is not in the manage or in the proper format. But insight is in the proper format that we can analyze it and we can make it um, find some uh, like important information from that. Okay, 
okay so uh quail you mentioned that you were performing data mapping could you please elaborate on that hello for data mapping yeah, yeah for data ma mapping also i use excel mm -hmm. okay, like to get some yes i use different kind of function to uh, do the data matching so matching means if some uh, see some values are there and you uh, need the other values from the different sets and you can match it from the previous set and get the data from the other set so i use v lookup h lookup lookup and match com function combine so that is a dynamic thing okay so uh, how how many types of different databases you have worked on quail What are the databases you have worked on? S, uh, SQL, SQL. Uh, no, no, I'm asking like uh, there is a Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle. No, only SQL Server. Now in Swiggy, I'm working in Snowflake. You're working on Snowflake uh, Cloud Data Warehouse. Yeah. Okay. So uh, how, after cleaning and validating all the data and consolidating the data, how you are, how you are importing currently? And how previously you used to import data into SQL? Could you please elaborate that part? How you Sorry. import that data from Excel to Snowflake? Okay. Uh, now in Swiggy in Snowflake, there is a Python query. So first we have to uh, make the proper table and save it in the CSV file. And then there is a Python query as there so that we have to change only the table name and import the data into Snowflake. I don't have any Python knowledge, so I. Okay, okay, no, no worries, no worries, 